Meet Big Red. Big Red was an experimental gas turbine powered super truck intended for the 1970s. It was conceived and computer designed by Ford Motor Company engineers and traveled from coast to coast testing its adaptability to the highways. It was amazing. Big Red was on display at the 1964 World's Fair and at many auto shows. Basically, wherever the opinions and suggestions of truck drivers and operators could be sampled by Ford. The cab of Big Red was 13 feet high and was level and closely coupled to its trailer. The rear of the cab was concaved to maintain clearance on curves. The overall length of the tractor and twin trailers was a whopping 96 feet. Now, a small turbine engine was designed by Henry Ford and two associates way back in 1925. And since that time, Ford engineers had been quite interested in the potential of gas turbine power. In a turbine laboratory with the aid of computers and testing devices of the era, the most advanced engines and components were evaluated as part of a gas turbine development program. The experimental 705 engine, as it was called, was the beating heart of Big Red. It was designed and carefully built by Ford's company engineers under a contract with the United States Navy on a joint Army-Navy program as an all-gas turbine power plant. Now, the engine developed 600 horsepower and was capable of 24-hour sustained operation. The engine provided Big Red with a cruising speed of a respectable 70 miles per hour and a non-stop range of more than 600 miles. A unique supercharged cycle contributed to the 705's high efficiency. Two compression stages and exhaust gases were used to preheat air entering the primary burner. The weight to power ratio was roughly about one third of diesel engines of comparable horsepower. Now the engine made very little noise it was almost vibration free. Its exhaust was clean and could burn a wide range of fuels. The brave crew of this super truck entered the cab through a door opened by air cylinders using a ladder that was lowered automatically. Pretty cool. The cab was spacious and the seats were adjustable. Now get this, a freestanding console contained the basic controls and powered assistance took most of the work out of driving. The turbine controls were located on the windshield header. At the rear of the cab was an express truck route map of the United States. A wash sink and concealed toilet were on board. A small refrigerator and beverage dispenser were also integrated in the cab, as was a warming oven. The driver and co-driver of Big Red were given a commanding view of the highway through a large tinted windshield. The cab also had dual heating and cooling systems. The co-driver even had a fold-away table. A personal television set was viewable only from the co-driver's seat and couldn't be seen by the driver. The co-driver's seat could recline for resting. Big Red was designed to move slowly on the road with a very comfortable ride. Big Red was also aerodynamic, some 30% better than trucks of traditional design of the era. The goal? was improved in fuel economy. The cab had a separate suspension that floated independently from the tractor chassis helping the ride. So whatever happened to Big Red? Ford scientists used Big Red's attributes to inspire future truck designs. Now Big Red ended up in the hands of the Holman Moody racing team in 1970 and today Big Red's whereabouts are unknown but I bet somebody knows where it is. Here's to the innovative and fascinating Big Red. Now if you enjoy this feature and want more interesting automotive based content, please subscribe to the Road Noise channel. Thanks.